Ladies, Philip, let it start. Fantastic, here you go, Phil. Thank you very much. Great stuff. Cheers. Phil Blunderstar. Nice to see you. Born with a bum boy. He likes you. He likes you. He always wanted to be a police dog, then he died. Look at this, we've got Phil, 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 no, no, well, no, I didn't. That's the thing, you know. There's a lot of, you know, it's like an AA meeting. They go like, I'm you're Genesis. Right. I'm Philip Dennister. I'm a Genesis fan. <laughs> um, no, but you are, here you are. I mean, uh, and you've met Fiona many times, mm. Fifi. Yeah. On, the, on the sofa. On the sofa. He's been, he's been on the sofa. Oh, he's lovely. He comes in on his own, no one looking after him or anything. He's really? lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's lovely. He's you are an icon now, you're a national icon, national treasure. Well, I'm not. I mean, the character is... Gene, Gene, Gene. Genesis Hunt. Yeah. This is well, his full name. One governor, another yeah. governor. Yeah, another governor. Gordon the police. Yeah, Gordon the copper. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is... Yeah, yeah, I can, can I ask you this question to start of Michael Parkinson, the Grand Inquisitor? Mm. No, I don't know. When I first... <laughs> when I first clamped eyes on Gene... My life on Mars... I thought to myself, you, like me, are a national treasure. And, uh, how'd you get the part? Um, I, I auditioned for it. I met them oh, for right. it, and uh, they sent me the script. And it was quite a weird process because I was sort of phoned up and told that you know my agent had said uh, they're sending you the script. It's based on a, a, a cop basically who wakes up in 1973 and goes back in time, <laughs> and uh, you just go, well, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and it was one of those things I just read. Uh, and the first 15 pages, you just think it's our cop show, you know, mm. just whatever. Then suddenly, bam, he gets knocked over, life on Mars is playing bow. He wakes yeah. up in 1973 and uh, I thought, I've got to play this part. I have to play this part. It was fantastic. I couldn't put it down. The unpc PC. Yeah. yeah. And you treat the scum the way it deserves to be treated, don't you? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> well, you're the filth, but they're the scum. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing about Gene, he's the sheriff. Yeah. You know, it's a great... One of my favourite lines in the whole thing was... Uh, when, when Sam, Tyler, walks in and I've got a big poster of the good, the bad and the ugly. Mm. And Sam says to Gene, he says, which one are you? And Gene says, I'm all three. Mm. You know, that kind of sums him up, really. He's the sheriff. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the scum, because of the filth, the scum, there's less scum because there's more filth. <laughs> it's the scum. You've got to have enough filth to keep down a scum. <laughs> well, the scum will overwhelm the filth, so you need more filth than scum. In the bath, if you're filthy, you get lots of scum, don't you? Can you, you say so... filthy again, please? <laughs> Brendan's had so many more attractive dances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we are. And we've got, we got a copy. Did the cops have you? Do you? I mean, do you ever run into coppers and... Cos I read a story about you in the papers that therefore must be true. Oh, absolutely. You, you get off some, some endless crimes cos they love you, the coppers. Well, the thing is, it's... Um, it's not so much the coppers, it was... It, uh, I had a, an experience recently where, you know, the old paparazzi or somebody from a, a magazine is following yeah. you around, and they spent the whole weekend. And you kind of think, well, I'm going to bore them into submission, you know, <laughs> this is what we do with small children. I'm going to go to the park, and I'm going to go have pizza. Yeah. I'm going to go back to the park and go to have pizza. <laughs> and, and this guy followed us around, and there's something quite sinister about a van sort of pulling up. Yeah. And eventually, I just thought, I've had enough of this. So I just went over with my kids and went and just sort of tapped on his window, and he's sort of pretending... Winds in and says, What? I said, Why are you following me? He said, I'm not. I said, Well, you're up in. It's, you know, Saturday morning. I'm a bit fed up with this. So, what, what's, the, what's the gig? He said, How did you know? <laughs> and, I, and I said, Well, believe it or not, I play a fucking detective. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Excellent. Ashes to Ashes, of course, uh, the, the new, the, you're doing more Ashes to Ashes, because that's the Life of Wales in the 70s, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Ashes to Ashes, and you could tell the difference, because in Life of Wales is a pub, yeah. Ashes to Ashes is a wine bar! I know. And... <laughs> I know. Luigi's! Yeah. The thing is, though, we've got a cop show on ITV set in the 80s. It's called The Bill. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 
It started in the 80s and it's still there. It started in the 80s. Not as bad as heartbeat. That's been in the 60s for yeah. about 60 years. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, at least 25 years yeah. of the 60s. Yeah. Um, the, no, seriously. Um, are you going to get Phil in the show, though? Do you know, I'd, I would love to have Phil. would love to have some his music as well. Yeah. That's right. We've discussed it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm waiting. You're waiting yeah. to hear? I'm waiting. waiting for the phone right. call. That, yeah. gorilla, that gorilla does it now, though, doesn't he? The gorilla? Uh, yeah, that one on the network. Not on show. <laughs> no, that's where I'm going to act, because I don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the gorilla. Now, we, uh, <laughs> now, assume should we do some time travel, blah, blah, blah? Hey, oh, okay. time yeah. travel, time travel. If you could go back in time, Philip Glenders, did any time, what time would you go back in time to, if you could go back in time? Um, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I'd quite like to go back to the 50s, sort of uh, that whole Las Vegas and the Rat Pack thing. Yeah. And hang out there. I think that would be kind of glamour That'd fun. Be cool. Fifi. Yeah. I'd go back to the Champions League final, May 2007, when John Terry slipped up, and I would put my coat over that puddle. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I go back. Uh, I go back to decadent Rome. Decadent Rome. You go back to Deccan and Rome. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Toga and all that. Yeah, gladiators. The way people used. To, I can't believe the people who did that stuff to each other. I'd have to sort of. I'd have to. Ex Experience it somehow. Sit so to believe it. Yeah. It's fascinating. Story. I, I mean, I'd go back and kill Hitler, yeah? Thank <laughs> 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 you, Gene. Yeah, that's okay. Sadly, me. Thank you, Ray. I'd kill Hitler. Thank you, three time wasters. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> The point is, it's not because I'll just tell you, currently, you've just uh, done this thing, uh, you, uh, a Draclia thing. You're a Draclia? Is that right? Yes. Or you're playing Van Halen? Is that right? Van, yes. <laughs> no, I'm looking after Van Halen. You're I'm looking I'm after his roadie. Van, right, Van Halen's roadie. <laughs> I'm his vampire. What is it? It's a vampire thing. Yeah. Contemporary take on Bram Stoker's Dracula set in uh, modern day London. Van, Van Helsing. Right. And I'm playing an American Ooh, called Rupert oh. Galvin. Mm. Yeah. It's very camp. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the way I play it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, well. well, yeah. I mean, that's the thing about playing uh, an accent, doing America. I just from my life, I can't play my own accent anymore. I have to, yeah. you know, if I get sent to Paris, I'd like, can I have an accent? <laughs> well, you have to pretend to be someone you're not in order yeah. to make it work. Exactly. What sort of idiot would rely on that? Yeah. Terrible. What sort of burned out hustle <laughs> to pretend to be someone who isn't in order to get through his otherwise empty, meaningless yeah. life? What sort of <laughs> mental loner would do a thing like that? <laughs> no idea. No idea. Now, do you so? I mean, uh, I mean, the, you play the archetypal cop. We've got Gordon the cop here. The British police are the best police in the world, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah, they are. They are. Really, if you stop and think about it, you just can't touch Your Majesty's fuzz. If you, you stop, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> I think if you're a decent, ordinary person, you shouldn't think bad thoughts about Her Majesty's fuzz. Her Majesty's fuzz <laughs> is the greatest fuzz the world has ever known. And if you stop thinking about Her Majesty's fuzz, Phil Collins, <laughs> you're thinking about it now. Everyone thinking bad thoughts about Her Majesty's fuzz and you shouldn't even don't think about Her Majesty's fuzz. You only feel it, stop thinking about Her Majesty's fuzz. It's been the same for 83 years, hasn't it? God, I've no idea. At night you go crazy, don't you? Her hairstyle. Her hairstyle, right. Exactly. Okay, actually, I need your help now, Fiona, because what I want to do, Fifi, is change gear in this interview. And, you know, you're the expert. So, what I want to do is change gear. I want to do chat show link device 1A, change gear into discussion of hobbies. Right? So, help me out here. Right? If I get this wrong, pipe up. Now, Phil, you in your time have spent a great deal of money on models, but not on page three ones. Model trains. Yes, I have. Was that good? That was really good. Right, fantastic. I thought it was Rod Stewart that did that. Is it you as well? Yes. Do you play trains with <laughs> <laughs> He's got his set and I've got my set. Oh. <laughs> the thing is, Phil, I, I've got a little... Cos you don't... You never... You, you don't come to this country, you don't come on TV. I've got a little gift for you, right? For your, for your train set, Thank I've got a little you, something Al. for you to remind you of Great Britain. What it is, is a classic British pub, just for you, for your train set. I'm going to get it for you now. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, Phil. ta -da! Oh. Like that. Oh, there we go, there. Phil. Look at that. There we oh, go. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. Look, here we go. The railway are. Look. It's called this the railway tavern. There we are. You can look very closely there, and you, you can see there's been a fire in the carvery. That's why that <laughs> bit of a chip fire and we've got steel mesh. So what, why have you got like sailors out well, the front? Well, there. there's sailors fighting on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> there's the governor. There's me and little ramrod there. <laughs> and he's still alive. I miss him, that's yeah, all. Yeah. 
across the garden. That's lovely, that is. There's the sailors there. And look, who's this? It's DCI Jean Hunt. Look, <laughs> he's making a bust. Why is he making a bust? Well, I don't know. Could it be the rubbish in the car park? Could it be because it's a biker pub with scooters in? Was it broken? <laughs> is it broken Britain hoodies who set fire to the car park? And look, there's Fiona Phillips. She's knocked off early from work, comes straight to the pub because that's the advantage of knocking off half past nine in the morning. Yeah? No, the reason they're here is because Gary's taking a crap in the sand pit. As you can see. <laughs> And they're busting it for gross indecency. And this film is my gift to you, sir. Thank you. That's fantastic. It's an addition to your train set, eh? Hey? The Railway Tavern. From me, sir, to you. The Phil Dancer, Jonah Phillips, your colleagues. Three films.